talk about your political career. And I mean, those days, like I said, we used to see you on television. Uh, you were wonderful. We loved you like that. Why did you, you don't love me no more? Why did you decide to go into politics? A game that people describe as dirty. <laughs> Do you think it's dirty? Have I changed? I haven't changed. <laughs> I still have this one head and this very big, this big old forehead. Uh -huh. uh, I still have this nose and this mouth. The Not much has changed. <laughs> um, you know, it was just a matter of course, I think. Mm. Now that I think about it, it was just a matter of course that uh, I'd want to look for another platform to, to do the things that I've always done. Okay. So as a child, my parents used to go to the Osu Children's Home and bring children to our house, a bus load of them, we'll take them to the Catholic Church, Queen of Peace Catholic Church, and families will come and pick these kids mm -hmm. and let them experience family life. Mm -hmm. if, they, if there were five, ten of them who were not picked by anybody, then all of those ones are coming to my family house. Okay. And my mother will cook for all of us, and we all sleep in the living room. They sowed a seed of sharing the little that we have because we were not rich mm -hmm. we still are not rich but they taught us how to share and care for other people and then by dint of faith i also met um, mrs rawlings uh, and that generation cecilia johnson sherry Aite, rejoice Ahia Blair, um, all of these women anti-patients then of course, the, f the plays that we did in those days, they were revolutionary mm -hmm. plays. Okay. And the more I read them, the more they, they changed me. Okay. So we did the trial of Didan Kimathi, the trial of Kwame Nkrumah, the Black Star, mm -hmm. Jogolo, uh, Chaka the Zulu. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these people, the more I read about them and participated in their stories, the more I realized that it didn't take the the big people to change the story of their people it took mm. the small people mm -hmm. and so i saw myself as one of the small people okay so with that foundation that my parents and the plays gave me uh, when i had opportunity to do by the far side it gave me opportunity to watch the pndc to ndc and I liked what I saw. Okay. As a child, um, I was curious, very curious. I'm, mm. I still am. Mm. I, I saw the, the kinds of conversations that went on around uh, my, uh, my late uncle Kofi Ashibwemensan, who mm. was the first secretary for trade at the Rawlings. Okay. The conversations that people who came to visit him had. And I thought, wow. So it takes each of us to do something for our people. Mm. In, in the process, I, I, I went to uh, Ketu South okay. to produce by the far side. And the children didn't know about it. Okay. That was very depressing for me. For you. And I thought, wow, so I'm doing all these things in Accra. And, the peop my and my people, people, people don't know don't it. Know. So wh who am I waiting for to do that? Yeah. So I decided to, you know, every now and again, I'll go there, gather the kids and read to them. And that's how I got the name, the title Jamado mm -hmm. from Togbi Fiti. Okay. Who heard about that interest and that passion mm. and what I was investing in. Mm -hmm. uh, and in 2012, he honored me with that title. Then also, um, you know, when I became deputy minister. Yeah. I used to go there uh, and to all the constituencies in the region mm -hmm. because I was a member of the, uh, the political committee of the NDC in the region. Mm. And I saw that we had women from Central Volta and now OT who had all become members of parliament before. Mm -hmm. But in the south of Volta region, there was no evidence that any woman had gone to parliament on her behalf. Okay. So nine constituencies. And that really, really, really worried me. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, okay. So 
if I become who I am because I met people in this sector mm. who shaped my life, what if there's a child from Ketu South or the other eight constituencies in the South mm. who needs a role model so that they can save this country? Mm -hmm. If they don't have the, the example, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. It means that my, 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 my um, southern part of the Volta region, mm. we won't have that savior. <laughs> so I thought, okay, instead of waiting for someone else to do it, you go and do it yourself. Uh -huh. And uh, my late husband, bless his heart, very, my, my husband was very, very uh, supportive of, of everything that I wanted to, to do. do. He knows that by the time I make up my mind I want to do this, I've thought through it. So um, he supported the idea and uh, um, in his honor, I'll say he financed my, my uh, participation. And uh, <laughs> He saw me win the primaries and decided to die, and so... Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry about well, that. Well, it's a process of life. Yeah. It's a process of life. Um, <laughs> so that's how come I became a, 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 an aspirant and subsequently the elected member of parliament, and uh, the rest, they say, is history. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on this.